Yeah. Well, we met for food for the first time before a game today, so it was something a wee bit different, but it was nice to get the boys together and get a good feed into this. But in terms of training, uh, it's been the same, just working in shape uh, two nights a week. So now it's been pretty standard. One of my mantras always as the manager of Queen's is um, to the players is about performance. Um, you know, it, it's the performance that counts. But in terms of today, we have to be at the top of our game. You know, all of our players need to be playing 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10. And hopefully that Linfield have an off day. Let's just draw it. That's it. It's too bad now. So normally it's just the bishop. The chairman and a couple of uh, mates of the manager at every game, so I think it's going to be nice to see a couple of Queen's faces in the line instead of the opposition today. It's been a great event for Queen's University. It's, a, it's an opportunity to not just showcase uh, the club, but the facilities we have here and the, the wider things that we're doing at the university. So everybody's been very excited by it. We don't normally do a ticketed event, so um, you know, designing tickets, getting them printed so close to Christmas, uh, designing programs, uh, dealing with our sponsors, making sure everybody's happy, reserving seats, um, uh, even bringing in BBC news cameras today. So uh, it's a great event for us and one we're really looking forward to. <laughs> They're young, they're fit, they're talented, um, they play without fear and I would just like us to give a really good account of ourselves. It's quite, it's unthinkable to, to actually think that um, you're going to get the result. Um, today, but you know, football's football. Stranger things have happened. Obviously, playing against your brother, it'll be strange. It'll be, um, it'll be weird. But it hasn't been much, uh, to be honest with you. I haven't even spoke to him this week at all. Um, so, but yeah, it's obviously we'll just be looking to, to put, I suppose, put out, out a respectable performance. We know that playing against Linfield is a massive, massive task. Um, and for us to to get any sort of result, we know that we're going to have to be at the top of our game. It's cup football. Anything can happen. And, and they'll be hoping that it can. He was better last night, but not really. I didn't think he was going to score. I sort of thought it was going to be a lot tougher maybe than it was. And, but the lads give them all credit. We're unbelievable today. I mean, we showed how good we can be against anyone in Northern Ireland, never mind in our own league. And I think we really put it up to them. We done our all they showed in the end.
Stay out. Stay out. I think I'm still a little bit in shock if I'm being honest. Absolutely. Just, I think it was an incredible performance really from my crew. I think we thoroughly deserved to win that match. Um, I don't think anybody, I don't think anybody in the ground would would take that away from us and say that we that we, uh, we nicked it or anything like that. That was a really hard fought competitive football game. It's hard, I suppose, whenever your brother's on the losing side. Um, but yeah, the, the locks may be changed in the high store later, I don't know. Come on, let's go! Come on, come on! Wonderful, wonderful. I don't know what to say. Yes! Historic and historic day for the club. No, there's no, no doubt about that. There's no point masking it. It's, it's historic. It's it's going to send shockwaves through the Irish Cup fifth round. And uh, you delighted. You think we'll enjoy tonight. Yeah, I think all the boys uh, may end up getting out now. I didn't really have much bad luck, but after that, I'm really not. Hey, Mary, go kick it, kick it, Daddy. Yeah. I think that that was it. Our, our game plan worked uh, brilliantly in the first half. Shook up the pressure well, and obviously the penalty was good to get. And we got over the line really well, defended really well too. <laughs> it's really unthinkable that we, that Queens, who you know, who have a who have a quota on their on the players that we can select for football matches. I mean, 75% of our players that can come on this pitch have to be students or graduates of Queens, and to beat um, the biggest, arguably the best club in the country. It's, it's remarkable, and people, you know, have said in the last week, you know, why did you bring it to the club? Why did you bring it to the club? That's why. That's why we brought it to the club because, you know, tw if we played 20 times at Windsor Park against Linfield, we'd, we'd have been beaten 20 times. And I said it to my coaches, it may just be that day if we bring them to the club, and, and it was our day.